Day four. Don't forget those three tips I gave you yesterday. Those are really gonna help you get these fine lines and details in this last day of painting on your canvas. So tip number one was to dip your brush often. Have plenty of paint on your brush every time you go to the canvas. Tip number two was to lightly touch the surface of the canvas with your brush. Don't ever smash the brush onto the canvas. Tip number three, hold your brush perpendicular to the canvas or straight up and down. Don't lean it to the side because that's gonna give you a thicker line and you want a nice thin line for the details on this final day. All right, here we are on our final day of Arts Camp. This is day four video for your owl. And what we're gonna do is add some black and some highlighting to finish these up and we're gonna finish up these eyes as well. So I'm gonna start with orange for my eyes and I'm using my next to smallest brush. So this is my number six flat brush. And I've dipped it in orange and I'm gonna paint this middle section right here with orange. So it's not the largest ring and it's not the smallest, it's the one that's kind of in the middle here. So I'm gonna paint that with orange. And I think I'm gonna mix in maybe a touch of red here. And even maybe a touch of yellow. Which that yellow doesn't wanna show up because it's a weak color. Now I'm gonna go to the other one and I'm going to paint this part orange. I might let that dry and then add that little streak of yellow in there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red in here too. I don't want the eyes red, I'm just adding a, kind of a little bit of a tint of red. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush out. And I'm gonna continue using this same brush. Again, this is my number six flat, but if you feel like you need a smaller brush for any of these next steps, feel free to switch over to your small round brush. So I'm going to go to white next, and I'm going to start adding some highlights with my white. So I'm going to put some highlights right here above the beak in white, and I'm just going to make sort of like these brush strokes like I did with the feathers that kind of go up from the nose a little bit. And I'm going to give it some white over the top of this eye. It kind of goes over the top like that. It's almost like you're giving him a white eyebrow. And then the same over here. And then in this area under the tufts up here, I'm going to go back and do, or I'm going to make little white areas up underneath that too. And I'm making these brush strokes kind of all point upwards. That might be a little bit hard to see on my painting in the video. Let me see if this shows up a little better over here. So these brush strokes just kind of go up like this from that little tuft. And this is why it didn't matter if your tufts were not perfect because we're kind of making them fuzzy now. They kind of look fl fluffy and fuzzy. And the very last place that I'm going to put some white streaks is kind of below the eyes and the beak and the nose here. I'm just making some white streaks down here. And these kind of point away from the beak these pointed up and away right here and then these also point down and away if you end up mixing a little bit of these colors underneath in to these areas that's okay you can see mine's kind of turning almost like a light purple and that's perfectly fine if that happens so that's my white and then i'm going to rinse my brush again And again, I'm gonna stick with this same brush, but if you need a smaller one, switch to the smaller one. Now I'm gonna dip into black, and I'm gonna paint the pupil with black. And I'm gonna paint carefully around that highlight, but if you accidentally paint inside of your highlight, just let it dry, and you can put a dot of white 
back on top of that. So there's my pupil. Then I'm gonna paint this section with black. You always wanna make sure you have plenty of paint on your brush so you get a nice smooth line. And then I'm gonna paint the line that goes up and over the eye. Remember this was kind of curved like this and then it extended past the circle of the eye. So you wanna get that little piece right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. So I'm gonna paint carefully around my highlight. And then I'm gonna paint this section. And then the very last step is to paint this line that goes across the top of the eye and extends past the eye like that. And I'm gonna make some little lines that go up here between the white part and the colored part. So I'm just kind of putting a row of lines there in black. Just kind of makes that stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going to outline the beak with the black. And I'm gonna to start to fill it in, but I wanna leave a little streak of white for a highlight on the beak. And again, if, if you accidentally fill that in, let it dry and then go back over it with white. That's always an option. And now I'm gonna add just a few little black streaks with my black paint and this brush. You can even hit the edges if you want it to stand out. If you find that your owl is blending in with your background, mine blends in with the background a little bit over here. So I'm just making these streaks along the edge of my owl to make it stand out from my background. And I'll do the same thing on the top because I kind of like how that looks there. So to just make those little short choppy lines there. And I'll do them here and there. I might even do them underneath the white, kind of like that white, make that white stand out a little bit more too. And like I said, if you accidentally fill in your highlights, you can take white paint and you can turn your brush upside down and use the handle of your brush. I'll add another highlight here so you can see what I'm talking about. And you can add an extra highlight if you want one or if you accidentally painted the other one you can go back over it once it's dry and that makes the eyes look extra sparkly and then gray decided he wanted to do stars in his background so if you want to add anything like that to your background this is a good day to do that because this is good and dry and you can add anything extra to your background that you'd like don't forget to sign your canvas put your name or initials down in the bottom and always put the year. You can always put the year on the back. That way you can remember when you did this one. And that's it for day four.
And that's a wrap for Arts Camp 2020. We had a great time creating this week. I hope you guys did too. See you next year.